Hey guys, Paul Comagno, Guitar Tech at Music Store Live, and this week we're going to start a series, um, the in and outs of all the pickups, everything you need to know about them. You like my little yeah. book of post-its on the wall? <laughs> we got to get through all this in five minutes. Go! So to start, um, pickups are just copper wire wrapped around magnets. That's the simplest, easiest way to explain it. There's two different types of magnets that they use in the guitar world. There's Alnico, which is an alloy of aluminum, cobalt, and nickel combined. Uh, the next one is ceramic, which is a little more brittle, it's a little harder. You usually see ceramic pickups in P90s um, with steel adjustable poles. An Alnico magnet, each magnet is individual and the copper is just wrapped right around it. Bobbins. Bobbins are really easy to explain. Bobbins is just a material used to mount the magnets and wire. So it's, you know, the black bobbins usually referred to. So the copper wire used to wind pickups um, varies in gauge. Uh, the standard of the industry back when they started winding them was 42 gauge and usually the standard now is 43 gauge. 42 is a little bit thicker so it takes less winds around the magnets to produce the same output uh, and at the same time it produces a different tone. So they coat the very thin wire with enamel or poly. This is an enamel you can tell because it's very dark. Early poly or lacquer coated wire would be very bright orange. So how a pickup works is you start with one end of this very thin wire and you start wrapping it around a few thousand times usually like anywhere from six to twelve thousand up to fourteen thousand times uh, and then when you end you have your output so the start is usually the ground the more times you wind it the more output you get um, this also controls which direction the current flows through the pickup this produces phase so if you have two pickups and one current is going this way and the other current is going that way, those two pickups are out of phase. They create a very thin, funky sound. The next part of the process after the pickup's been wound to the correct output um, would be potting it. Potting is a term used when dipping the pickup in wax. It helps preserve the pickup both from any parts moving around, you know, should your magnets get pushed and try to break the wire, but it also helps keep microphonic and feedback noise down. Uh, they didn't discover that for a few years, um, so a lot of early pickups aren't potted. Uh, also, Fender used to pot their pickups with lacquer and then found that to be very expensive so they switched over to wax. There's lots of different waxes that people use nowadays including paraffin and beeswax. The other part of it is polarity. You all remember middle school science class uh, magnets have both south and north poles. Um, usually when a manufacturer builds a pickup they face say all the north poles facing up. Uh, what reverse wound reverse polarity means is that that pickup is built with south poles facing up and it's wound the other way. I'm saying south just as an example. Reverse is just reverse or opposite of to what they usually do. This creates hum canceling. The next part of the equation is series and parallel. Series is how a humbucker is made with one coil wound and then the other one wound directly after that. When it's being played you hear one coil on top of the other making two coils. You can also wire your humbucker in parallel. Parallel is what you see in a Stratocaster. Um, in your two and four positions, those pickups are running side by side as opposed to one after the other. people don't realize the difference between coil tapping and coil splitting and a lot of the time 
coil tapping has become a generic term used to describe both, even though they're not the same. Coil splitting is the act of turning one pickup off and using your humbucker as a single coil. Coil tapping is winding the pickup to a certain output and throwing out a lead and then finishing to wind the pickup for its full output. That way it's still humbucking but because you have less winds working it has the output similar to a single coil. Uh, this can only be done at the factory. Any questions? <laughs> You've been a great audience. Thanks so much for watching MusicStoreLive.com. Stick around because we're going to get Lindy Fraylin pickups in soon. We're going to do a whole series of demos.